Yo, what's good, YouTube man? It's Clutch. We're back out with another video, man. Today's video, I got you guys with the new best lockdown defender build to make as a season nine in NBA 2K23. Now, if you guys see my best center build from yesterday, I promise you guys I was gonna be dropping the best lockdown defender build to make. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to make it. Now, I am making this build on current gen because this build is gonna be an ISO lockdown, a six eight. I was to tell you guys, I also did drop the best lockdown for season eight and season seven check all three of them out see which one you like the best all right now moving on to this build now i personally made the build a shooting guard but if you want to go small forward that's probably the only other position i would go either shooting guard or small forward i'm gonna go shooting guard and this other stuff is personal preference all right now like i said we are going six eight for the height because this build is going to be an iso lock six eights get more attributes than six seven so we're going six eight and the weight we do want to have maximum speed and the wingspan you're a lockdown definitely want to max this out which is pretty nice because as you guys see with the max wingspan six eight you can get 93 block gold anchor 95 steel 92 perimeter which is perfect and then body shape is personal preference all right moving on to the attributes for this lockdown defender build make sure you guys copy it down just like this so the close shot i put the close shot up to a 69 i wanted at least a 67 so we can get bronze fast twitch bronze fearless bronze masher as you guys see i went 69 for the badge point though driving layup i think the minimum was a 66 so we just left it at that that's an extra badge point too so that's perfect and the driving dunk i put this to an 86 so this build will have pro driving contact dunks and gold limos takeoff now the reason i'm making this build on current gen because obviously as you guys know all your good finishing badges are tier three on next gen on six eights i mean you could make this build on next gen but you would have to add like five extra badges in order to even get limos takeoff so i think it's better to make this build on current gen and that's all we're doing for finishing all right moving on to shooting our mid-range shot is a 71 for the extra badge point and then we're putting the three ball to an 83 so that's why i said this builds an iso lock pretty much because you do have silver agent three pretty much all you need to shoot consistently in this game and you have other good badges like gold amp blinders mini magician dead eye and stuff like that which is pretty nice and then the free throw put this to a 62 all right moving on to playmaking now on current gen you only need a 70 pass accuracy if you are making this build on next gen then yeah go for the 75 for the lebron james pastel on this game though 70 is really all you need so we're going 70 and ball handle like i said this isn't going to be a pure spot up lockdown this is going to be an iso lock so we're going to have an 85 ball handle for goal quick first step handles for days unpluckable and then of course our 75 spiel ball for the michael jordan dribble style which is perfect this is more like an iso lockdown build if you even wanted to you could actually play the main ball handler with this build like run the point guard which is pretty nice because you do have gold quick first step all right moving on to defense you are a lockdown so this is going to be the best category of the build put the interior to an 81 for the extra badge point as you guys see now perimeter of course you're a lockdown so we put this to a 92 which does a lot gold clamps gold challenger menace hall of fame pretty much all you need which is really nice and the steel we max this out to a 95 which of course does give us gold glove gold interceptor so you can get steals no problem and the block you're gonna be able to stop those rim runs no problem as well because you're going to have a 93 block so you're getting gold anchor on this build pretty much stop anybody in the paint with that and you have hall of fame chase down artists and the rebounding now once you get a stop you obviously want to be able to get the rebound so i put the defensive board to an 85 which is an extra badge point and you get silver rebound chaser and gold box out beast whenever you get a stop you definitely want to be able to get the rebound so we have an 85 d board pretty much all you need not really worried about offensive rebounds so that's why i left it at a 40 all right moving on to physicals our speed is maxed out speed is very important for a lockdown defender especially if you're guarding a small little 6-1 guard you definitely want to have max speed 85 speed with 92 perimeter all you need and the acceleration i only got this to a 78 but i don't think that's bad because you do have gold quick first step you'll still be able to move pretty good with that and the vertical i only put it to a 70 if you don't know on current gen vertical doesn't matter at all for contact dunk so you can have a 99 driving dunk and a 25 vertical you'll still get every contact dunk in the game this isn't next gen if you were making this build on next gen then yeah go for your 75 vertical for the contact dunks i'm just going 70 and the rest is going on the stamina you're gonna be having a 90 stamina pretty much all you guys need and as you guys can see this is the build right here 12 finishing 18 shooting 
15 playmaking and 26 defensive for this lockdown defender build as you guys see pretty solid build not just a pure lockdown it's an iso lock you can also iso you could run as the point guard with this build on the twos if you really wanted to because you have an 83 3 contact dunks good finishing and of course lockdown defense gold clamps 95 steel gold anchor and gold quick first step all right, moving on to takeovers. Now, this build is primarily made to play as a lockdown. So you definitely do want to throw on lock take primary. And then I definitely would throw on a sharp take secondary. If you really want to throw on shot creator, you could. But I think that's definitely going to be the best combination by far. And as you guys can see, this build is similar to OG Ananobi, Mikael Bridges, and Eddie Jones. This build is actually called a 3 and D2 guard. That is a actually somewhat rare build name, which is pretty cool that we get that build name. That's actually kind of rare. Now I'm going to show you guys my personal recommendations for these badges. Let's get this to 99. All right, moving on to finishing. Definitely want to get Limo's takeoff. I would get Pulse Riser. We do have Contact Dunks. I would get Slithery. And I also would get Fast Twitch. Now on finishing, I would recommend at least one extra badge for the Bronze Fearless. Maybe even two so you can get that Bronze Masher. At the bare minimum, I'm going to recommend at least one for Bronze Fearless. If you can add another one for Bronze Masher, go ahead. All right, moving on to shooting. Definitely want to get agent. I would get catch and shoot. I'm going to get bronze amped. You don't really need higher on amped on current gen. Bronze is really all you need. I'm going to get silver dead eye. Dead eye is really OP on current gen. I would get limitless range. And then, yeah, I think I'm going to do something like that. That's actually pretty good right there. The only other badge I would maybe want is blinders. If you don't care about dead eye, then maybe you could swap these out. Maybe throw on the silver blinders instead of the dead eye. If not, I would just roll something like that. That's pretty much all you need. That's good badges if you run the main ball handler or if you play as a lockdown. All right, moving on to playmaking. Definitely do want to get quick first step. I would get bailout. I would definitely get unpluckable. All right, four badges left. Now, if you're going to be playing as like a main ball handler type of build, I probably would throw on the handles for days. I think I'm going to recommend it because handles for days is a pretty good badge to have. And I probably would throw on clamp breaker. Now here, you could either substitute this for break starter maybe. Like say you're going to be playing more as a lockdown. Maybe just take off the clamp breaker and put it on break starter. It's up to you. I would either do break starter or clamp breaker. If you want the clamp breaker, add two extra badges for the silver same thing with break starter if you put it on break starter add two extra badges for silver and you'll be set for playmaking all right moving on to defense you are a lockdown defender this obviously is the best category of the build definitely do want to get your gold anchor we went 93 block for a reason i definitely will get clamps i would get hall of fame workhorse i would get challenger glove let's see chase down artist now i'm not gonna lie to you on defense you definitely will have to add some extra badges here because you probably would want things like hall of fame menace as you guys see you probably would want rebound chaser at least bronze if you can get it silver that'd be even better and you probably would want interceptor if not gold at least like bronze at the bare minimum in my opinion so i'm gonna give you guys a bare minimum i probably would say i would say if you can add at least like let's see two at least three extra badges if you can add at least like three extra badges like two for silver interceptor and one for the bronze rebound chaser i think you should be good if you have extra badges to add for some menace at least like silver maybe gold hall of fame then go ahead at the bare minimum i'm just going to recommend three extra badges at least two for silver interceptor and one for bronze rebound chaser ideally if you can get the gold interceptor silver rebound and maybe some menace that'd be better it just depends how many badges you have but yeah bare minimum try to add three extra for defense and he should be set but that's pretty much the end of the video man that is a new best lockdown defender build to make as a season 9 in nba 2k23 let me know what you guys think about this build in the comment section below man my next build video is probably going to be the best small forward to make as a season 9 and then after that i most likely will be resuming with the regular rare build videos if you guys would like to see another like 6 9 demigod let me know if you guys would like to see any other builds to make for season 9 if not i'm just going to resume with the regular rare builds like i said make sure you guys do drop a like subscribe if you're new and i'm out